In this training module, we will cover how to use arrow points to establish permanent ground control on sites that fall within the Propeller Corrections Network, and how to use these supplemental points to process your surveys. This will expand your capabilities when deciding what kind of ground control to use for your surveys. You will learn how to locate suitable ground control positions and mark targets, collect ground control points or GCP coordinates with arrow points, upload and process data within your arrow point dashboard, and how to use these additional ground control points for a new survey. Welcome to Propeller U. Ground control is essential in generating accurate survey data on your site and has historically been one of the biggest challenges survey teams have faced when collecting data in the field. Arrow points, however, allow surveyors to save time and money by obtaining survey grade positional data as smart ground control, serving as both a base station and control target at the same time, and utilizing Propeller's PPK solution to correct data after it's been collected. Even with these advances, large areas and those that need permanent control may require additional use of ground control beyond what is readily available. Fortunately, even if you find yourself without a base and rover system to mark additional ground control, AeroPoints can help ensure your site is adequately covered to allow for accurate processing. Please note that this workflow relies on processing AeroPoint data through our corrections network and therefore is only possible on sites falling within PCN coverage. To prepare your ground control, you will first need to find suitable locations on your site with a clear view of the sky. These positions should be in locations that will not be easily disturbed or disrupted by future site activities. The 15 degree rule should be kept in mind when assessing a location's suitability to serve as a ground control point. These locations should also be at least 50 feet away from buildings, vehicles, metallic interference, or surrounding terrain. For more information, you can watch our Understanding Ground Control video in Propeller U or visit our knowledge base at help.propellerarrow.com. Once these ground control point locations are identified, mark the ground using your stencil included with your arrow point with bright contrasting paint in the middle. You may also use another permanent marker that will be easily visible from the sky when flying your site. Place an arrow point precisely over the marked location and turn it on to begin collecting data. Leave the arrow point in place and undisturbed for at least 10 minutes if using arrow point twos or 45 minutes if using arrow point ones or a mixed fleet comprised of both arrow point ones and twos. Keep in mind, the longer this is left out to collect data, the better the point will be for future surveys. It's important to note that arrow points will automatically enter sleep mode after a certain amount of time and will no longer be collecting data. Once you are satisfied with the time frame that the arrow point has been collecting data, upload your data to the Propeller platform. Log into the platform and navigate to your arrow point dashboard to process the survey by clicking the Process Now button and selecting Propeller Corrections Network. Once processing is complete, download the CSV simple file for future use during full site surveys. When you're ready to fly a survey with your new supplemental control points, lay out your arrow points. In addition, making sure your permanent control points are clear and visible. Be sure to maintain adequate spacing between your arrow points and the permanent control across your site. You are now ready to conduct your survey. Upload your new flight data to the portal and select arrow points plus CSV when choosing your ground control method. Select the appropriate arrow point capture and upload your CSV file that you've now created for your site. To help our team quickly identify the permanent markers during processing, add a note in the comment section that includes a brief description of the target, such as color and shape, if different from the arrow point stencil. You can complete the data set upload process as normal, and that's it. You've successfully used an arrow point to obtain permanent ground control points that can be used in tandem with temporary arrow point positions for drone surveys over your site. In this module, we went over how to use arrow points to establish permanent ground control, including locating suitable ground control positions and marking targets, collecting GCP coordinates with arrow points, uploading and processing this data within your arrow point dashboard, and how to use these additional control points for a new survey at your site. Thanks for watching. For more information, you can read the supporting documentation for this module or check out our knowledge base at help.propellerarrow.com.